Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I'm going to be showing you 3D Weather Globe and Atlas Deluxe Edition by Software Matkeev. I don't know if you've heard of Software Matkeev, but they made stuff like the latest version of Kitpix, Kitpix 5 the Steam Edition for Mac, Windows, and iPad, or um, the Print Shop for Mac, they make stuff like that. They're, they make some premium titles, but this software is a bit dated. It it won't run on my M1 Pro MacBook Pro because it's 32-bit and Apple quit supporting 32-bit apps back a few OS version releases ago, a few years ago, back like three years ago. And um, yeah, I um, installed this on an older MacBook Pro and that's what I'm recording off of. So if you look at it, it's kind of like the forecast channel for Mac, I would say. Um, everything is here. Um, this, the stuff on the push pins is something I set up a minute ago. I had to re-record this video. Um, it's the Oregon Trail. It has routes and whatever. But, I can zoom in, look at cities. I can see the weather. <coughs> um, for the area. I can see boundaries, I can get clouds. You can probably hear my MacBook Pro fan keep going right now. Um, and here's my OBS. Um, yeah, you can probably hear the fan going. It's I installed like the seven gigabyte version of this that has like high res imagery. If you want the software, you can go to some place called Mario Cube. Hmm. And maybe you'll find it there under the software my key folder, maybe. There's a 3D Weather Globe and Atlas just standard edition, but it's for Mac and Windows. The Windows did not get a deluxe version of the software. And like I said, it does not run on latest versions of Mac OS. The latest it runs on is Mac OS 10.14 Mojave. Anyway, that's enough talking. I can see zoos, I can see a bunch of cities, I can see Apple stores. Let's show the Apple stores, I guess. Yeah, see the blue dots are Apple stores. And I know that some of these Apple stores are no longer in business. At least probably like two or three of them because there were two around my hometown that closed. Because of some long story involving these patent trolls. Google it if you want to know the story. But um, they opened a new one after that. But right when it closed. the day After the day it closed, they opened that one. And I went there on the first day. Anyway, um... Yeah, I can see Apple stores. I can't remember what the green ones are. Oh, I think it's for Apple stores coming soon. But all, but Apple hasn't made any Apple store in the U.S. since I think that one. Apple stores are a work of art. Um, I can see the clouds. Yeah, and I can see where it's day and night. Hmm. Uh, come on. It's pretty laggy and can be janky at times. But Japan does not have its own set of weather icons, as you can see. Of course not. Software Makiv is a Ukrainian development company, and I know you know what's happening in Ukraine right now. So there's also an app called Living Earth for um, Mac and iOS. I don't know about other platforms. But it's kind of like this, but, I mean, it doesn't have weather all around the globe. Um... And of course, there's Google Earth and stuff like that. Um, um, what's it? I don't know anything like the news channel, though. I mean, this is kind of like the forecast channel, of course. There's no music or anything. But I don't know anything like the news channel where it maps the stuff on a globe. Fifteen years after it came out, it's still revolutionary in that regard. That no one has made something that can replicate that awesomeness. Anyway... I can go in 3D. Yeah. 3D, baby. And I can adjust the adjust the globe. I can rotate it. Zoom in. I think I remember hearing it could simulate like, rain effects or whatever. I'm not sure where. But, yeah. 
I don't think my keep cares about the software because I haven't made a 64-bit update of it. I guess not many people are using it. I don't. I can't name a single person who uses the software. But maybe you can if you download it. The disk image for this is like seven gigabytes because of the high-res imagery, which is optional to install. Um, I can see space in the background. I'll reset this. I can remove that route. Um, in the background, it showed me where Saturn is. I don't know about other places. Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter. Um, don't know anything else. I can look up. I can look up if I want to go to Springfield. I can find fourteen cities. Hmm. And I can see where it's nighttime. Yeah, time. I don't know what that does. You can record for if you want to record for some reason. Yeah. You can save it to a movie, and there's um, some options over here like export view as image, send view by email, send view as desktop background, print view. So yeah, I can see routes too. I was just messing with that a minute ago. So I can see where Amelia Earhart last flied before she died. All around the globe. At the current set, I guess. Hmm. It's hard to see where the boundaries on. I'll turn them off. It goes all the way across the globe. Fly me there. I don't think you can hear the awesome airplane sound effect it makes when you when it does this, but I guess it's moving on its own now. I didn't notice that. See, I think that's mostly all. I mean, there's this. I guess I'll make it more opaque. There we go. Now I can now I can't see through it. Not like I wanted to anyway. But before I go, I'll show you one more thing. I'll open the dashboard. It has a little nice dashboard widget. It doesn't do much. It looks like a really old weather thermometer from the olden days, but that's about it. This thing is powered by custom weather, whatever that is. Oh, it's gonna open it up for me. This is this Mac is running 10.13 High Sierra and it's dual booted with Windows 8. Yeah. Anyway, thought you would like to see that. Thanks for watching. Bye.